Hey guys, this is William. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to grant access to Google Tag Manager. How to grant access to Google Tag Manager. It's one of those questions I get asked by a lot of agency owners, business owners, and we wanted to show you in our SOP how exactly to do this so it makes a very easy step-by-step -step process. That way you know exactly how to do it without having to give someone login access to your Google account. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't already done it, you need to go over to freesops.com, go over there, sign up for a free 30-day trial of my SOP system. That way, you can go ahead and get not only this SOP, but you can get over 200 SOP access, you can give them over to your VAs. That way, they can have access to it. Also, every single SOP has an ebook related to it, as well as a Google document related to it as well as an entire system in which you can edit or add videos and give those over to your virtual assistants. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to be granting access to Google Tag Manager. It's one of the questions I get a lot from agency owners, freelancers, etc. What's the best way to grant access to do someone for Google Tag Manager? So the goal of this is to add a new user usually an agency, an employee, a contractor, a freelancer, etc., that you may use, okay? End result of this is gonna be that they have access without having to give them your login information, etc., right? And it will be possible for them to add a pixel to the website or any other code that they may need. Requirements to perform this, you're gonna to need to have admin access to Google Tag Manager, right? Once you have that, there's going to be certain rules that they have. The roles of users in Google Tag Manager are account level and container level, right? The account level is you can have two admin accesses at this point, right? The user will be tasked with managing the access of all other users. If you answer questions yes to both of these, they need admin access, right? They don't need any other access but admin. They have to have it, right? Before you continue with that level, you must know that these two admins at this level, the reason for two admins is you won't get locked out. You have to have two admins. Number two, if you don't trust the user, then give them a user account level access. You have to build trust to people, otherwise they can remove you, they can do a bunch of damage that you don't want them to do, okay? Never give someone admin rights that you don't trust. Without further ado, let's go ahead and actually walk through this process and show you us setting it up. All right, it's real simple. Let's go over here to Google Tag Manager. Once we go to Google Tag Manager, it's rather simple. We just really have to make sure we're in the right account. Once we're in the right account, okay, we're definitely in the right account. You can see all accounts. This is the account that we want right this is the default workspace we are in the admin section once you go to the admin section you're going to make sure you go over to user management inside user management is where we can manage our users and we can add users and grant them access blue plus sign up at the top right is the button we're going to hit to add users and grant specific access we can also add user groups you simply enter in their email address. You can grant them as an administrator or a user, but like I've already said, you only want two administrators on that account just in case someone removes the other one or something happens and you need a backup. You always have a backup. A user can view basic information. An administrator can do anything they want to to the account. Then you're gonna select container permissions. You want to be able to publish container versions approve container versions or just read generally read and edit and approve if it's an administrator then you give them full rights and everything else once you do that you simply click done okay you just want to make sure you don't do everything then you hit user and invite once you hit invite they will be receiving an email in which they will be invited to be a user on this account to manage google tags Okay, and as of right now, the invitation is pending. A few more things regarding the container. Um, if no access, the container listed on the account will not be even seen by the user. If they can read, they can read it. If they can edit, they can edit permissions. Rather simple. 
uh, approve and publish. Depending on the permissions above, which we just talked about in the container, the user can actually create workspaces in different versions and they can publish them as well and after they make their edits and different variations. Once again, let's go over the steps. First step is open up the Google Tag Manager. Second step is use the sandwich menu or the kebab menu, the three dots. Go to the top of the page, hit the plus sign. You're going to immediately be taken to add users. Use the email address that you want to add the users to and you're going to select how they can access. What level do you want them to be at? What permissions do they have? Appreciate you guys being here today, and I hopefully you learned exactly how to use this. I get this question all the time. That's why I wanted to make this SOP. Once again, if you already don't have it, go to freesops.com and get set up with the free SOP system. You get a free 30-day trial. If you have any questions, just drop them below, and I'll be happy to answer them. And I hopefully this will help you understand how to add users to Google Tag Manager. Therefore. You don't have to go searching and looking like, oh my God, how do I do this? Now you know how to do it. Now you know as a business owner how to do it without giving someone your login information because you never want to do that. And when you set people up, set them up with the right rights, not full access, okay? Unless you really, really, really trust them. Until next time, be blessed and have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hat. was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the SEO devil, shout fuck the SEO guys. White hat SEO doesn't make sense, going with the goody goodies. Up in heaven, dressed.